My name is Dave McCall. I'm an old soldier, obviously. And uh, they asked to uh, get, get it, put this class together for you yesterday. So, uh, what we're going to start off with, took some chunks of wood here, stacked them up, and shot them with a bunch of different stuff yesterday. What we shot them with is some of the more common calibers that are to be found out there. 5.56. Five, Everybody knows what 5.56 five, five, is, an AR. 308. That's 762 50, uh, by 51 NATO. Let's see, what else? M193, which is a 5.56 five, five, 55 grain, and the M855, which is the green tip the light armor penetrator round. That is a misnomer. The real purpose of an M855 is to produce two wound tracks. But as it enters, the penetrator tip breaks off, which is the smaller part of the weight, and then the greater chunk of the lead breaks off, produces two wound tracks. That's what it's about. And also with the greater weight, it carries to a longer distance. Uh, with the M193, the 55 grain, hell, I couldn't hit in. When they gave us the uh, A2 and the M855, that's the round that you want. The only problem is it's 400 bucks a thousand. Well, that's better uh, last month, month and a half ago, it was a thousand bucks a thousand. So there we are. Uh, got an AK round here, 45, 9mm, a 22, so on and so forth. So here is our testing parameter. This is redneck ballistic gel. A 6x6, and then three more 2x6s uh, stacked up. What we're going to do, Patrick here's is going to help me take these apart. So here we go. We have some penetrations on the back and hopefully we'll be able to equate those with where they went in on the front. So go ahead and hit those two right there. What range did you shoot the rounds at? 30 meters. A, a thousand inch range, which is your standard zero range. Okay. So right here, Starting at the top, I ain't coming and screw the next one too, Patrick. We had 100% penetration with 22s, 9 mils, AKs, everything that I flip and shot went through the first board. Everything. Why am I showing you this? You may be thinking about adding something like this for ballistic protection. You may be thinking about a 12-inch tree you've got in your yard that you want to hide behind. You better know what your adversary is going to shoot at you. Because uh, I don't want to surprise anybody. What we want to do is inform people. You'll be able to come up here and look at this stuff as, the, as things go on. Okay. 100% penetration and 2 inches. Okay. A hundred percent penetration in four inches. We're talking a twenty-two. A lot of you hunters out there use a seven millimeter mag and so on and so forth. Anybody here shoot three hundred wind mag? We call it a mini fifty. That is one flat shooting sweet piece of equipment. How many of you are 50 cal shooters? <laughs> well, I guess it's me today. <laughs> Send this around as well. Sure. I'll take you on Dave's fun ride. All right, now we're pulling off the next. Keep on going. You got it, buddy. Let me help you. All 
decide why I picked this amount of wood. One, it's what I had. And two, I pretty much got the results that I expected. Six inches of, of treated pine. The 22 penetrated. And it's lodged right there. You know what didn't? The 45. But you stopped it. Why? The 45 is such a large, slow moving bullet. It's not meant to penetrate barriers, it's meant to deal with flesh. What type of 22 round? Uh, 36 grain copper jacketed. I think it's a hollow point. Somebody look at that and see. Those are federal. 1,250 feet per second. Hollow point. Wouldn't have made much difference with a, a round nose. So, how many people expected that 22 to go through six inches of? Underrated. Under, it's underrated. Yes, sir. You're not surprised at all. So what is this telling you? <laughs> you need more armor. That's what it's telling me. People, uh, 22s, they'll kill you at 500 yards. They'll kill you slow at 500 yards. They're not going to go blow chunks and pieces off of you. But they're going to poke holes in you. That 45. John, after the Civil War, there was a lot of discussions when they wanted to go to a smaller caliber. What do I mean smaller caliber? They wanted to go from 68, well not 68, 50, 56, what's the caliber? 58 caliber. In Civil War it was a standard caliber. But it, because the black powder propelled, it only had a muzzle velocity of 14 or 1500 feet per second. People were worried that a smaller caliber bullet wouldn't kill people. They thought a 30 alt 6 wouldn't work. <laughs> so, that was perception versus reality. Hopefully we'll get through a little bit more of our perceptions. Now, some of these rounds did not penetrate the next 6 inches. Let's see if there's any way I can correlate that for you. Okay. This is the back, and of course, what penetrated? 308, an AK, and even surprising me, an M55, I mean, excuse me, M193, the 55 grain round for an AK, AR. Are my terms confusing by any ways? Am I getting, am I very? Sorry. Okay. No problem. An AR, an AR-15. That's a 5.56, shoots great. <laughs> It's a good gun to have. Mine's a pink camo. God, I'd hate to be killed by that. <laughs> <laughs> and know it. <laughs> uh, she's brought up a valid point. Why? Low recoil, shoots good. With the 855 ran, you can, you can knock a guy out at 600 meters. Is anybody out of here with any different experience? Is that about right as far as your experience out there, anything making me a liar today? Five to six hundred. Five hundred is good. Uh, plus you have that extra wound track. Now the 62 grain is 200 feet per second slower. And also whenever you're looking at your book, at your boxes or data that gives the muzzle velocity, that muzzle velocity is for a 20 inch barrel. If you're carrying an M4, that's a 16 inch barrel. That's another at least 200 feet per second. I think that's about right. Any reloaders out here who's got it in their head right now? I think I'm telling you about right last time I was looking. So that shorter barrel costs you one, maybe instead of 600 meters, but a 20 inch barrel, now maybe we're back to five. And now also muzzle blast. Who, who out here shoots at night? Good, hold that hand up. Okay, good man. The rest of you 
are remiss in your training regime. Range closes. I got one in my backyard. Mine never closes. Well, Sundays it closes on Sundays. You better take that weapon out there and shoot it at night. Take a look at the muzzle blast. One so that you know what the other guy sees when you shoot at him. Also, I like taking a couple of different kinds of ammo. I take Tula, you know, the Russian stuff, the 855, the green tip, and the 55 grain. That's what I, do, I do this for all my weapons. And just compare them. What you'll see, people talk about Russian ammo. Well, you don't see too much except a little bit of extra dirt in the chamber until you shoot it at night. When you shoot a good quality American ammo or wolf gold that's made in Taiwan or PMC, which is a Korean, muzzle flash, boom. You know, you get a nice crisp muzzle flash. Maybe you get a little more. When you shoot Russian ammo, you get a flyer. Any Russian ammo, because of the nature of the ammo, there's incomplete combustion. You'll shoot that thing and you'll see off the muzzle stuff, a little sparklers heading in different directions. So it's pretty plain visual stuff to see what's going on and engage your ammo. All right. The 22 didn't penetrate 12 inches of wood. Not a surprise. The 55 grain. Even the Tula 55 grain. For those of you who are worried about the quality of knocking somebody down with Tula. I, I, don't worry. I, I don't know how many rounds of tool I've shot. I, I don't have. I've had maybe. I've had. I can remember three rounds that were failures to fire. I had one that didn't have any powder in it, and the bullet went this far down the barrel. That was in a 308. And, and then the other, uh, I had one with a bulged, blew the pot primer out, but I think that was because uh, my son didn't clean his AR. And the bolt wasn't slammed forward. He didn't use his forward assist. And I've had very little problems out of shooting. Okay, the M855, straight through it. The AK, straight through it. This big chunk of wood that's missing here, that's an AK round. An AK 762, that's the diameter, about 39 millimeter case length. It weighs 123 grains to 124 grains. At short ranges, it is lethal as hell. This down here that went kind of took a little angle in coming out. What happened? The AK lost a little bit of stability because it leaves a muzzle at 2,325 feet per second. Help me out, guys. Has it got a rim? That is a 7.62 by 54R rimmed. It's a Russian for Mosin Nagant. The Mosin Nagant is very similar to a 308 in bullet ca characteristics. It's a tapered case. The Russians are smart. Ca tapered case has less problems jamming and dirt and crap. And that big rim allows a big old extractor paw to reach in there and rip that case out. And that's what that steel case comes out and works so well in, in the Russian stuff. This actually illustrates, at least I can see it here, you'll have to accept my description for the moment, the terminal ballistics of an AK versus a 308. A 308, 147 grain NATO, <coughs> 2,750 feet per second at 100. 50 grains. What it also means, because of the higher velocity, higher velocity means higher spin rate. Faster it goes down that barrel, it, you know, it picks up that spin and maintains it. So at this rate, at this range, it, it maintained its stability. So it would have, if it had shot, well, it just punched a whole front, you know, it might have blown something out in the back if it hit a, if it hit a bone or something. But it would punch, probably punch a pretty clean hole through a muscle mass at this short range. 
The AK had already begun, started to be develop, not a y'all, but a slight instability. It is designed to do that. It's not a wobble. What it is, it's not spinning as fast. It's a heavy bullet. So it means its stability, its gyroscopic stability is not as great, which means when the nose hits something, it slows down. Well, the, excuse me, the tail end doesn't. And then, so that's what will flip it over. At greater ranges, they tend to do that. In the greater ranges right there, the, the, the 55 grain AR was designed to do that. Uh, they talk about tumbling bullets, there's a whole bunch of BS and stuff like that. What it is, it's a reduced stability so that it wants to flip inside the body.